so proud. They're so smart. It reminded me of the time when I first got them. I think I told the story before, but when I first got them, it was like kind of quite late in the evening, like, I don't know, 8 p.m. or so. And I brought them home and I, I was still living with a roommate at that point. And I only had this one room, but my room was pretty big. So uh, for the first night since I, I read up like how, how to best introduce your cats into a new home, uh, I read that the best thing to do is like keep them inside one room first. So I uh, put like everything in my room. I put their toilet and the, the food, everything into my room to make them feel like this is a safe place. This is their home, get them cozied up to, yeah. And I was in the room the whole time too, so all is good. So the thing is, they were extremely spooked uh, in the first like 10 hours at least, 15 hours or so. And it was late in the evening, so the moment I let them out of their cage in my uh, little room, they immediately hid under like some furniture where I couldn't even reach them. I could not even reach them, but I, 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 I you know, I, I tried to stay on the other side of the room to keep, give them space and give them time and so on. But I was observing them and I was so excited about my little kittens. They were so tiny, 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 bubble, bubbles. And I just wanted them to feel safe and comfortable. So I was just watching them and I tried to stay awake for as long as possible because I was, I wanted to show them the toilet. Like it was out there in the corner of the room, but I wasn't sure if they would understand that this is their toilet now. So I wanted to like kind of show them but they would not come out of the whatever they were hiding underneath i don't know what, what it was especially if i was moving they would not come out when i was like i was chilling on my bed for like hours and if i wouldn't move for like an hour they would they with their little tipsy tapsy toes they would slowly emerge from their hiding spot and and really really slowly and carefully you know explore a little bit but the moment I would make a small noise or anything, really, they would immediately get spooked and, yeah, hide back into their hidey hole. Yes, I was trying to be quiet, but then I could not! I, I, I had to sleep, it was so late, it was past midnight, and uh, I really just had to sleep. So, at some point I fell asleep without being able to show them the toilet, and I was worried, but I was like, okay, whatever, they're small kittens, how much of a mess can they make in one night? It won't be so bad even if they pee somewhere. And you know what? I'll, I'll take that risk. I just got myself some new kittens. I will forgive them if they do that. No problem. I was okay with that. But then I woke up the next morning and I see they used the toilet without me showing them anything. It was not even the litter they used in their old uh, apartment. It was just some random litter that I got. Yeah. In a new environment, sometime in the middle of the night, they apparently used it. I saw it. I saw the proof the next day. I was really impressed. Yeah, I was like, wow! I'm so proud of you girls. You're so smart. How did you know? Right? Ah, I was so proud. And then from then on, I knew my cats are smart cookies. I am not worried about anything in the future. Mm. And once again, with this new toilet, they proved how smart they are. Yeah, Nico no hanashi shiteru. Nico no toilet no hanashi.